right, here we are. That may not be all that easy to see, but there is in fact a circle drawn on there. And I'm gonna cut it out now. So let's see what happens. perfectly round, but rounder than it was. Okay, let's take it to the lathe now. Okay, so it took a bit of a gamble here, because this side has a little bit of, well, it's like coming through. But I put the hole on this side, because I thought that that might turn out to be a really interesting little piece there. So we'll see. We shall see. I still don't know what this one what this one is either. It might be black walnut because it did have a BW on it. Curly BW. Looks pretty good. Okay. Okay. So we have everything all done here. Let's see what we can do. Now that we've got that far, welcome to the Tiny Trailer Workshop. Um, what I'm doing here today, Steve Ramsey is doing a, uh, a thing with this Maker's Care, which sounds like a very good cause. Uh, has been asking people to make airplanes. Well, sort of. We'll see how this turns out. Okay, so now I've got the bottom side of that figured out pretty much. Oh. Needing a rubber wrench to get things. 
hands off. Okay, so some days you add things into videos, and other days you don't. And I think I won't. But you never know. Yeah, I never know. Okay, so in keeping with what we're doing here, um, this is another piece of that wood that I don't know what it is, but hey, it's pretty cool. So we're going to... Okay, so here goes something different. Let's see if it works. So we have that, that bar somewhere here. Now we'll have to take it to the to the sander and finish it. Eh, a little different. Well, here we are almost at the end of October. Almost the end of, of the Maker's Care airplane drive. Is it airplane drive? Airplane fly? I don't know. In any case, uh, it is a very good cause. Kids, when they don't feel good, their family should be there. And when they're really sick, 
it's essential that the families are there. So anything to get a, a kid in a situation where he should be, what more could you ask? Eh? When I first heard about this airplane idea, the first thing that came to my mind was the UFO. And, well, it was right, but it had a few things missing. Like, a plane should have a propeller. Well, that's just a given, right? And it should have wheels. And a plane should also have wings. And I guess I didn't film this, but when you cut the a block round, you end up with squares. So the inside curve I matched on the outside, and I think it looks not bad. And of course, a plane has to have a tail. And you know, that's a tail. Now, I'm going to jump away. And then I'm going to jump back. Because you see, I also have this nice little stand so that it can be in landing mode or in takeoff mode. I think it looks pretty cool either way. It was fun. Now, after working with this wood for a little while, I uh, have decided that yes, indeed, this is for sure walnut. Um, and this propeller and the wheels, I really still don't know. Cool wood, but I don't know. And the bottom is just a piece of, of pine that I happen to have handy. And it's the right size. It's done a couple of things. One, it's the base to put the light on, because you put the tea light in there. And it also fits pretty good, but it, it swings. So you have landing mode and you have takeoff mode. I am, uh, I am late in getting this video out and for that I really do apologize. I still don't have a website. It's getting closer, although some days it feels like it's a million miles away. Getting that done and, and Cedric, Cedric is, is I'm really happy. Uh, the support that you've shown him has put his video now at his most viewed video ever. And he's really happy about that. He's, uh, he's happy enough that he's, he's created another video. Just for you. And, uh, and wants me to put it up. So, who am I to fight with a bear, right? Eh? And me, well, <laughs> give these poor old eyes a rest, and uh, I'll be back real soon. Sure hope to see you all here again next time, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Yeah, some of us never grow up, man. Eh?